Katie, Friday is actually considered the holiest day of the week in the Islamic faith. That means for many Western New Yorkers, this could be the first time they are returning to a mosque in a couple of months since the COVID-19 outbreak actually began. I spoke with the Islamic Society of Niagara Frontier, and they're telling me that they plan to keep people safe on today, which is called Juma. It was a little early. I mean, we were pleasantly surprised that we were able to operate. Dr. Shahid Mebub and the Islamic Society of Niagara Frontier ready to reopen their doors. Prime responsibility is to protect the people. Both ISNF mosques have new protocols, from having worshippers wear masks and using hand sanitizer to disposable mats during prayer. They're using some paper mats or paper towels on the carpet because, you know, when they go and um, when they bow down, in prostration, you know, they're touching the carpet. It's it's one of the difficult things to clean. So advising people to bring their own prayer mats so they're not touching the carpet. It's a lot of change that will take some time for people to get used to, as the mosques will have to keep their occupancy at 25%. And we'll have pre-register them so people who are registered can only come there and uh, so they're not uh, standing at the door. You can actually register online for the services that are happening today and throughout the weeks as well. They will be having two services, one at each location, what's in Getzville and in Buffalo. We have a link to all of that right now on our website at WKBW.com. And Katie, I know people have just been waiting to be able to go to their services mm -hmm. to be able to just experience religion for the first time in what seems like months. So definitely a great time for a lot of these people. Yeah, absolutely. And Jeff was showing us how all of these different worship services are making changes and all that information is for you on our website right now. All right, Jeff, thanks.